What a great pleasure it is to have your company for the FINA Diving World Cup of 2022. A big competition for all of these athletes in the Schwimm und Sprunghalle in Europa Sport Park, the SSE for short, as it's known by uh, more than half a million people who use this space every single year as a recreational and competitive aquatics facility. And it's hosting for the first time ever simultaneous diving and swimming World Cups literally taking place side by side. We have one more diving final to bring you today before it's the turn of the swimmers to take centre stage for the evening session of finals action at World Cup level. Wherever in the world you're watching the action from, I hope you're looking forward to a thoroughly engrossing last final of the day. We still have one more day of competition to come tomorrow. Three more finals uh, will happen then, but for now, just one more order of business, and it's going to be a really interesting final that we're about to bring you. Crowd just uh, taking their seats once again after being really glued to the men's three-metre springboard synchronised competition. That was very engrossing. Really did go back and forth in terms of who was going to join the People's Republic of China on the podium. Strong finish from the Americans and uh, a good performance from Australia. It's the women's 10-metre platform final about to start. We have around five minutes until it begins and then three victory ceremonies to bring you as well on this, the close of business on a, a chilly but pleasant Saturday in wonderful Berlin. A fascinating and a varied city culturally, architecturally. One of the most fascinating places in Europe, frankly. And a lot of the athletes have spoken across both of the World Cups, diving and swimming, just how uh, wonderful they find it being in this city. It's, for so many people, one of the cities to really tick off the list, a place that you feel at some point in life you've got to go to. Such a famous place worldwide, of course. Now it's time for a bit of history making in World Cup competition. Let's welcome, first of all, Paulina Pfeiff of Germany, the 20 year old. First time competing at a World Cup. She's done well to make it into the top eight. Nicoletta Angelica Muscalu of Romania, 19 year old reigning national champion. She made her World Cup debut last year in Tokyo. Katrina Young from the United States of America, the 30-year-old from King County in Washington on the Pacific Northwest coast. Florida State University graduate. 21-year-old Nikita Haynes from Australia. Born in Perth but trained in Adelaide. She competed at the Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games. Nika Agumbiade of the United States of America, 21-year-old undergraduate at the University of Southern California. She's the reigning individual national champion. And Lerinong Pham of Malaysia, 29-year-old, 34 major international medals. She has an extraordinary track record. Chen Yuxi of the People's Republic of China, the 17-year-old from Shanghai, silver medalist at the Olympic Games, but the reigning world champion, and reverse that for this individual, Xuan Hongchan of the People's Republic of China, 15-year-old, the Olympic champion, won the title at 14, isn't that extraordinary? But the individual title, did not go to her at the World Championship. She took second place. So all eyes are really on what could be a most intriguing matchup between Chen and Chuan, who won the synchronized title yesterday. They were separated by 13.65 marks after qualification with the 15-year-old Chuan Hongchan, the strongest performer. Time to pick your favorite. But who's going to lead the challenge from the peloton? Let's discover. 
after we have introduced the officials. Who aren't quite all in place at the moment. Referees as well. And the judges on both sides. Judge number one, Mr. Yehia Dor. And the judges. Judge number two, Mr. Min Seo Kong. Judge number three, Miss Mark Bush. Judge number four, Miss Violetta Rice. Judge number five, Mr. Peter Exilius. Judge number six, Mr. Anatoly Golovan. And judge number seven, Miss Nova Shakefi. That's always a moment of great Thank pride for judges, the judges. And to be competing, or competing, I should say, yeah, to be representing their sport at the highest level. And there is confirmation of the uh, diving commission for this competition. Here are the judges for the women's 10 metre platform final. No semi-final stage for the individual events here. Preliminary round straight through to the final. And congratulations to all of the athletes that have made it through. The start list for the women's 10-metre platform final. And uh, everybody is eagerly anticipating a World Championship and Olympic rematch between Chen Yuxi and Xuan Hong Chan. The two teenagers who won the synchronised title yesterday. Let's see how it all unfolds. We're going to get underway with an athlete who made the top 20 at the World Championships this year. We have plenty of reigning national champions in store for you too. There are few things in sport quite as compelling as seeing people dive from a 10 metre platform. It's something that when you look at it as you are now on television, if you've not had the chance to attend a, a diving competition in person, it, it's impossible to quite do justice to what it's like to actually see from ground level these athletes soar and enter the water. Television has a, a beguiling habit of making everything look so much more compact than it actually is. And those of you who've actually uh, attended competitions in person and indeed have done it, have been up there on the 10 metre platform, you'll know better than anyone else. Of course, it's all relative, isn't it, depending on your level of confidence as a performer. How you feel when you're on top of that platform. The event comes. Round one, Paulina Pfeiff. Handstand from the side of the press with eine and a half short arms and back, two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists, three. We begin this final. Paulina Pfeiff of Germany starts with the arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists. A 20-year-old. 
produced her best dive in qualification with this effort. She struggled a bit as the competition went on. The second dive is going to be very interesting to see, but seven this was a lovely seven beginning, and a half, really seven enjoyable and work seven, from Fife. Eight, seven and a half, seven. Keeps her form pretty tidily. She enters the water well. It's a nice opening, that, from the 20-year-old. 72, she's gained almost 10 full marks in qualification. What a good opening. To the Romanian national champion, Nicoleta Angelica Muscalu, inward two and a half somersaults piped. She competes at the World Championships in Budapest, where she was 22nd. Made her World Cup debut in Tokyo last year. Solid opening from the Romanian. Better certainly than in qualification where she didn't get off to the most uneven or the most even I should say of starts that's better 54.6 gain of around uh, 15 from qualification now this is going to be interesting 38.95 in qualification for this dive from uh, Katrina Young reverse dive pipe position she looked very slightly off the uh, desired angle of entry. Six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half. And it's going to be six and a half, lower, six and a half. certainly. 37. 0 0.05, so down by almost a couple of marks from qualification. We move to the 21-year-old Nikita Haynes from Australia. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. Pike is the reigning national champion. Quite a lot of splash as she enters the water, Nikita Haynes. Didn't have a, an enormously straight body at the time of entry. Got a good record at Grand Prix, seven medals. As we look back at this, it's a little lacking in tidiness in the pike position, a bit of leg bend, a bit of leg separation. All leading to rather a high amount of splash. So she scores 46.4 down by uh, 11 marks from the uh, preliminary yeah. round. It was a good start in qualification for Nika Agumbiade of the USA. What a splendid competition she's had in Berlin, picking up her first World Cup honours. Now the American national champion goes for the back. Two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. Pike, 3.2 degree of difficulty to open. Very promising diver, very promising diver. Like so many, has a gymnastics background. From the lovely uh, settlement of Pacifica in California, just down the road from San Francisco. And she's open well here, good execution, very tidy. Keeps the heels together. Positive. Angle of entry, 70.4. So she has gained almost five marks from the preliminary round. To one of the most experienced out there, Pandalela Rinong from Malaysia, 29-year-old. Two Olympic medals. Opening with the uh, forward three and a half somersaults in the pike position. Now she scored 63 for that in qualification. That will probably come up short just from an angle of entry six and a half, standpoint. Six and a half, six and a half, five and a half, six.
sizable amount of splash generated. 57. We're down by six marks from qualification. And has a full set of colours at World Cup level. Two to go in the first round and the excitement of the rematch from the Olympics and from the World Championships. We start with Chen Yuxi of the People's Republic of China. Forward three and a half somersaults, Pike. 3.0 difficulty to get us underway. Oh, that's an engrossing start from her. The reigning world champion, the Olympic silver medalist. It's going to score some very good numbers. A nice pike, tightly wrapped into the body, opens up well out of it. Good clean entry. It's a strong dive. It's 81 for Chen Yuxi. So she makes a gain from the 76.5 she scored in qualification. Chuan Hong Chan, her teammate, the Olympic champion and the World Championship silver medalist. Oh, this is just fascinating. They open with the same dive. We were three and a half somersaults pipe. And that's a terrific response. It's going to score much higher. Nine and a half. Ten. Ten. And we've got some tens coming in here. Let's look at this again. Heels are complete together. Toe point is perfect. The symmetry behind it is wonderful. The entry is just about perfect. There's barely a flicker of the water. I mean, what else can you say? 88.5 and some tens that count in that. That is beautiful. What a start. How's that for a first round of the women's 10-metre platform final? 90, the score for Chuan Hong Chan. So back we go now to the top of the order. It's a phenomenal performance from the diver from Guangdong. 90 to begin. Alina Pfeiff of Germany. Started with 72, great beginning. Ooh. Inward, uh, three and a half somersaults, tucked. Interesting to see the entry of that again. Uh, a couple of gasps, more than a couple of gasps as that happened. Seemed fully in control of the entry, quite compressed at the midsection, legs bent. So it's a score of 40 for Pfeiffer. It is still better than in qualification where she picked up 28.8. Nicoletta Angelica Muscalu of Romania. Forward three and a half somersaults, Pite. 3.0 difficulty. This was her best dive in qualification, 58.5. Yeah, it's not going to match that on this occasion. Over-rotated in the entry and uh, slapping down onto the surface. Uh, she'll come up quite shy of that number. It's such marginal things. It looks so enormous, doesn't it, when a dive doesn't quite go according to plan. But we're talking about a few degrees here. It's an unforgiving sport, as all elite sports are. 31.5. Down from qualification by over 25 marks. From the USA, Katrina Young. 
Forward three and a half somersaults piked. Well, this was a dive that for her was her best in qualification. One imagine she's got close to that with that display. Nice sense of symmetry. Overall, very uh, secure execution. Actually, that's better than qualification by a mark and a half. 60, the score. Nikita Haynes. Forward three and a half somersaults piked for her. 100 and... Oh, 3.0 degree of difficulty. And uh, she's just to come over-rotated on the entry. She's the uh, reigning national champion, undergraduate in science at the University of Adelaide. Not had the easiest start to this final, but she's already accumulated a lot of experience at her young age. 39 the score, down from 52.5 in qualification. The USA is Nika Agumbiare with an arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists for her second dive. This was secure in qualification. She's uh, over by a fraction or two in terms of the angle of entry, but uh, certainly the promise that this young diver has is uh, unquestionable. Been developing a great deal lately. Forty-nine point six for her second dive. She started ever so well with that first performance of 70 plus. And Lela Rinong for her second dive, back two and a half somersaults piked. 2.9 degree of difficulty. Incredible collection of medals at just about all of the multi-sport games out there. And a full set of colors at World Cup level, including a gold medal in Tokyo. indeed a certain quality and smoothness from Bandolella Rinong this was way better than the qualification campaign super entry little splash Seventy-six point eight five. That is a jump of over ten marks from the preliminary round. Chen Yushi. Second dive inward. Three and a half somersaults tucked. This is a very interesting final we've got going on. She started with real style. As you'd expect from a reigning champion nine of the world, it's going to be a huge number. There are some big numbers being read out in the arena to the delight of the crowd. It is 91.2, another big step up from qualification by around 15 marks. But you can't start better than she started. An extraordinary score of 90. Tens across the board for Chuan Hongjian. This her inward three and a half somersaults tucked.
Oh, come on now. What a display from this 15-year-old. It's, again, a really secure piece of diving. Matching what she did in the last round was always going to be a virtually impossible feat. 83.2. So that means there's a mark between them at the end of this second round. So, Chuan got the better of the first round. Chen got the better of the second to a one-mark difference. The chasing pack being led by the Malaysian, Lela Rinongpan. into round three. Fifth place coming into this, Paulina Pfeiff. Forward uh, three and a half somersault fight from the 20-year-old. Six and a half, seven, seven, six, six and a half, seven, seven. Nicoletta Angelica Buscalou. 61.5 for Paulina Pfeiff. Second highest score she's received so far. Jump up from 48 in qualifying. Nicoletta Angelica Muscalu of Romania. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist piked. Oh, she's a little uh, bent over at the midsection, entering the water. Uh, the execution score will uh, regrettably reflect that. Muscalu, down from qualification by almost 15. Now, this was where Katrina Young produced her weakest dive in qualification. Arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twist. Let's see what she can do here. Very experienced, extraordinary career she's had. Quite a lot of splash generated on the entry. She's a fantastic musician, as I'm sure many of you are well aware. She became very famous for her guitar and ukulele videos. And she certainly was better than qualification here, but not by a huge amount. Indeed, the numbers uh, coming in for 52.8, so it's not quite a gain of 10 marks. Nikita Haynes of Australia, this youngster who has already risen to the top of the country. Fantastic achievement whenever you do it. She had uh, almost 10 years in artistic gymnastics. And this is her arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists. She has so much promise, there's no question of that. Competed at the Commonwealth Games and at the Olympics. It's a lot to have done by her age. Six and a half, four and a half, four and a half, six, six, five and a half, seven. Fifty-six is the score for the youngster from Perth. And now to another 21-year-old.
Californian Nika Agumbiade. That three and a half somersaults tucked. 3.3 difficulty. This is her trickiest dive. And it's a dive that is going in the right direction, certainly. She starts to build a difficulty into her program. She scored 49.5 for this dive in the qualification phase. This is way six, better. Does still generate six, a fair amount of splash as she enters, but it's 59.4. is a gain of 9.9. To the athlete in third place coming into this round, Handlela Rinongpang of Malaysia. Arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists. 3.2 degree of difficulty. And her best dive from qualification, 67.2. Well, it uh, had a few moments of complexity, didn't it? Certainly uh, execution-wise in uh, flight. Never looked really fully in control, leg separation there, just slightly windmilling round, and, and she used so much experience just to rescue that back at the end and, and keep that, from an execution standpoint, as high as it could be, 59.2. Not quite where it was in qualification, now making things very interesting in terms of where the rest are going to be. but we've got a runaway chase, really, for gold. Just a mark separating these two coming into this round. Chen Yushi, arm stand back, three somersaults tucked, 3.3 difficulty. And do you know what? She just disappeared with barely any movement to the water. Well, this is tremendous from the 17-year-old. It's going to be a whopping number. Nine and a half. Ten, 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 nine what and a delight. A Let's enjoy this again. Symmetry, crispness, disappearance, magic. One Hong Chan. Oh, yes, 97.35. And that has really asked the question. Arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists coming up from Chuan Hongchan. <laughs> question asked, question answered. We've got ourselves a final going on here, and it's a great one. Super entertainment. It's not going to be quite as strong, but it's going to keep her in the mix. It's 1.6, so we have a change at the top of the leaderboard, but it's still competitive. A reversal. Chen Yushi has gone into the lead, courtesy of that brilliant 97.35 dive. Nika Akumbiade is really looking over the shoulder now of Pandalela Rinongpang. And we've got ourselves set up for a great last couple of rounds. And she's in the conversation as well, the first diver. Paulina Pfeiff of Germany, fifth place, coming into this, back one and a half somersaults, three and a half twists. This is her most difficult dive. This is a big moment in her competition. 
She found this difficult in qualification. She's a diver who has done remarkably well to be in contention. When you think she was the eighth strongest qualifier, she is in contention, but this didn't quite go as it might have done. Not the cleanest of uh, twist positions. It's 44.5545. Nicoletta Angelica Muscalu of Romania. Arms down back, double somersault, one and a half twists for a 3.2 degree of difficulty. This was one of her stronger dives in qualification. And she certainly is one of the youngest competitors in this competition, and indeed the youngest outside of the duo from the People's Republic of China has done very well to come into this final as the seventh strongest qualifier. And that's a gain from qualification, 52.8 by just over three marks. Katrina Young of the United States of America in with three and a half somersaults tucked coming up from her. And she's rather over rotated as she uh, came into the water. Six. Silver medalist in synchronized Six. competition at the World Six. Championships. Brilliant Six. accomplishment for her this year. Really uh, one of the stories of those championships, actually. She's a great veteran of the sport. To score 57.6. So she has improved upon uh, qualification by getting on for 10 marks. Now we look at Nikita Haynes with her reverse two and a half somersaults in the tuck position. She is really somebody that we're going to see more and more of in international finals. This was a solid effort from her. All the signs are that she's going firmly in the right direction. She scores 54.6. That is exactly as she did in the preliminary round. Apologies there, we uh, rather missed that from Nika Agumbiade of the United States of America. Four, three and a half somersaults, Pikes. Six and a half, six, six and a half, seven, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half. Let's have a look at it this time. There's a little leg bend in the pipe, but she tries to correct that quite quickly. Not too bad an entry into the water. Looks a lot better than qualification, and it was 58.5. Now, let's see what kind of a comparison we get here. As uh, Handler Le Rinong produces a more difficult dive by two tenths, and she's the diver who is ahead, or was ahead of uh, Gumbiade in the bronze medal position coming into this round. In with three and a half somersaults tucked. Oh, now, this could be very favorable for the young American, and it's credit to her that she is in a battle with such an accomplished veteran as Pandela Rinong 
but certainly there's going to be a change after this. She's well over, unfortunately, as she enters. It's 32. And as a result, Agumbiade is now ahead by over 10 marks. We'll come back to that in a moment because we've got the business end of the round to come. Chen Yushi, back three and a half somersaults tucked. She has moved into the lead, the 17-year-old, courtesy of the last round. Can she keep it going? Well, we have our answer delivered most compellingly by the diver from Shanghai. She's so popular in her native country and indeed around the world. Nine, nine, nine and a half. The score is 89.1. Well then, this will be an interesting stage of the competition because in qualification, Chuan Hong Chan scored 92.4 for this dive. Back three and a half somersaults tuck. She's going to need a similarly huge number to get herself back in the chase for gold. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, it really is such compelling viewing this as a final. It's going to be very similar, if not better. That is just joyous technique from the 15-year-old. And the number is 94.05, and that has tightened things up a fraction at the top. So the big mover is that Nika Agumbiade of the USA has gone into the bronze medal position. Well done to her, and she's got a bit of daylight over Malaysian Pandlela Rinong. No change at the top of the leaderboard, but uh, the score has narrowed just a fraction. So, let's get set for a great final round. Here we go. Alina Pfeiff of Germany. With a back two and a half somersaults piked. Fifth position coming into this. She is one of the divers who's made a decision to finish with her simplest dive from a difficulty standpoint. It was her second weakest in qualification. Let's see how much uh, she's managed to add to that. Quite a lot, 59.45. Seven, so that is a jump of over 20 marks. Very much an attackable target for Nika Agumbiade, though, who's coming up in a bit. <laughs> to Nicoletta Angelica Muscalu of Romania. Reverse dive in the pike position, 1.9 degree of difficulty. She also concludes with her simplest dive. A nice conclusion from her. Good solid work to finish. It was a, a nice feeling when you execute a dive well at the conclusion of your competition. Heels and toes were well positioned. A lot to commend about that. If you're doing the simple things well, it's a good sign. 39.9. Fundamentally secure diving from the Romanian.
back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists from Katrina Young of the USA. And that brings to a close her final. Having already secured a silver medal in the synchronised competition at this World Cup. And the score is 67.2 for that display. That is the best she's produced in qualification and the final. Now, what sort of a conclusion will we see from Nikita Haynes Nikita from Haynes. Australia? In with three and a half somersaults tucked. This is a 3.2 degree of difficulty, one of three 3.2 dives that she has in her program. Uh, she's a remarkably mature and focused individual. This is somebody who didn't compete at the Youth Olympic Games, choosing to focus on her high school examinations with real aspirations for a career in the medical profession. Does well to balance her university studies alongside her career as a diver. Her score is 43.2. Fifth position at the moment. So we've got two very important dives coming up now in terms of the destination of the medals. We start with Nika Agumbiade of the USA. Inward three and a half somersaults tucked. This was her best dive in qualification, 67.2. She's done so well to put herself in medal contention. And you know what? It really has been an absolutely splendid weekend from this impressive young athlete from Pacifica in California. It's a place where the sun tends to shine, and it may well be shining on her in just a moment or two. Really well done. It's a reason why she's the national champion. She scores 60.8. Second best score of the final. Is it going to do the job? Now, this is a nervous moment for her as she watches. The diver who could catch her. Pangle Lunongpang of Malaysia. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist piked. So that is going to be uh, probably tricky in terms of contending with Agumbiade. It didn't have the cleanest of beginnings, it didn't have the cleanest of endings. Have a look back. Leg separation, she does well to snap the heels back together into the pike position, but she's rather bent at the midsection, going into the water. It's a score of 38.4. And as a result, that means that Nika Agumbiade of the United States of America has just won her second medal of, <laughs> there we go, of the weekend. That's a brilliant, brilliant 48 hours for her. Now she can just sit back and enjoy these next couple of dives as we all can. I think it's just hitting her. And she's got family here as well, how lovely. Chen Yuxi of the People's Republic of China. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist, piped. The leader. And that
that is a conclusion to a competition where she has produced some incredible quality, particularly the third round. She may well have put herself over the top and onto the podium in first place. How will this one compare? The weight is on. The score is 91.2. It is a stellar display from Chen Yushi, the reigning world champion. So we have a new leader. And she's virtually there now. Juan Hongchan of the People's Republic of China with her last dive. Same dive that we've just seen. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist piked. 15 year old. Already guaranteed silver. You know something? It is so much fun watching these two competing, whether they are side by side on a synchronized platform, whether they are going head to head in individual competition. It is mesmerizing to watch. And we're lucky to get to experience it at this World Cup here in Berlin. Chuan Hong Chan. On this occasion, it looks as though we're going to be mirroring the World Championships rather than the Olympics. It's 81.6. And it confirms, therefore, the victory for the 17-year-old Chen Yuxi. Marvellous final. Three thoroughly worthy medalists. Taking the bronze, Nika Agubiabe of the United States of America. And it is Chen Yuxi the world champion and Olympic silver medalist who comes in first place ahead of the Olympic champion and world championship silver medalist. And we'll bring you the victory ceremony for this final and the other two that we've had today in just a short while. The classified results in the women's 10-meter platform competition. The bronze medal to Nika Gumbiade of the United States of America. The silver medal to Chan Chan Hong Chan of the People's Republic of China and Chen Yuxi, her teammate, taking the title. Let's have a look back at how it was won.
is ready. I've got Saskia and Jan Elise. These are two of our local athletes who are competing in this competition. So, uh, first of all, thanks so much for joining me, girls. The end of uh, a long sort of day to day, long day of finals, a long couple of days of competition. How old Time for the victory ceremony for the women's three meter synchronized springboard competition at the FINA Diamond World Cup in Berlin, Germany. And the introduction of the presentation party for this ceremony. The bronze medal won by the United States of America, Kristen Hayden and Brooke Schultz. Lovely way to secure first World Cup honours. Lovely moment this for Saskia Ertinghaus and Jana Litorota. Silver medalists at home. And particularly for Rota, who is based in this fine city. They are the silver medalists in front of their own supporters. What a superb display from Chang Yanyi and Chen Yiwen of the People's Republic of China to secure the World Cup title. They already came into this with five World Cup gold medals between them. Now they've added another to their collection. There are your champions. 
and we'll now have the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Your medalists in the women's synchronized three meter springboard competition at the Berlin World Cup. Lovely moment for all of these divers. And look at the look on the face of uh, Kristen Hayden of the United States of America. Absolutely thrilled, as uh, she should be. It's a great accomplishment for any athlete to get onto a World Cup podium. We'll bring you in a moment the men's synchronized three meter spring ball victory ceremony. So don't go too far away. Meine Damen und Herren, die Siegerehrung für das Synchronspringen der Herren vom 3 meter Platz. Ladies and Gentlemen, the medal ceremony. It's now time for the victory ceremony in the men's 3 meter synchronized springboard competition at the Fina Diving World Cup in Berlin. This really was such an engrossing final. It did keep us guessing in terms of the destination of all of the medals right up until the very end. And now the guessing games are over and it's time to present the honours. Winners of the bronze medal, Australia. Represented by Lachlan Cronin and Lee Shixin. Lachlan Cronin and Lee Shishin of Australia have secured the bronze medals. It is uh, another medal, 50 plus of them in FINA and affiliated competitions for Lee, but it's a first time ever for young Lachlan Cronin. Well done to him. Giving the silver medal, winners of the silver medal, Team USA, the United States of America. Represented by Tyler Downs and Greg Duncan. Two young divers from the United States of America taking second place. They held their nerve. This was a tough competition for Tyler Downs and Greg Duncan, but we wondered if maybe the finish would favour them. It certainly did. Their second half of the competition was excellent. Their reward, a silver medal at World Cup level. Und Gewinner der Goldmedaille. Winners of the gold medal. And FINA Diving World Cup Berlin champions, the People's Republic of China. <laughs> Represented by Shao Yuan and Wang Song Yuan. There was just a moment in the third round when maybe one wondered would Cao Yuan and Wang Song Yuan have a little trouble in this final? The answer no. Not even close. The final dive, 96.9 to make absolutely certain of a victory that by that stage was already theirs.
And we will hear the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. in the men's synchronised 3 metre springboard competition at the FINA Diving World Cup in Berlin. Coming up next, last but not least, the women's 10 metre platform victory ceremony. ceremony for the women's 10 metre platform competition. The medals and gifts will be presented by Vice President of the German Swimming Federation, Harald Walter. Gewinnerin der Bronze Medaille, winner of the bronze medal, representing the United States of America. Nike Agumbiade. From the United States of America, Nika Agumbiade takes the bronze medal. She has had a stellar weekend of World Cup competition in Berlin. This was quite some performance from the 21-year-old, the national champion, and now two World Cup medals. Only 21 to great progress being made by that young athlete from the University of Southern California. We had ourselves quite some contest for gold. Chuan Hongzhen of the People's Republic of China taking the silver medal, giving it everything she had, including a super dive of 94.05 in round number four. Long may these contests continue. Winner in the gold medal, winner of the gold medal, and FINA Diving World Cup Berlin champion, representing the People's Republic of China, Chen Yuxi. From the moment that Chen Yuxi produced a 97.35 in the third round of competition, she had control of this final. She did not relinquish it. The reigning world champion wins this round, but there are more to come. And we'll have the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Of the People's Republic of China.
Berlin. Give it up for your World Cup medalists. And there they are, the medalists in the women's 10 metre platform competition. brings to a close our coverage of the second day of competition in Berlin. More to come, three more finals tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye. <laughs>